Hey guys, I'm Jada, and this video is on uh, breaking up or getting over a breakup, right? And I know I look bad, but I haven't done my hair yet today, and I just wanted to go ahead and get this done. But I had to easy do it. Okay. So, two months ago, I think I went to a really bad breakup. I mean, it was really bad. With this guy, I had to record five months ago. And then even before we were together, I was like, I was going to be with him. So I was like, hit my best friend. I was like, oh my gosh, who is that? She's like, he told me his name. And she was like, go for it. I'm like, I will. And then, so, and then, from the funny, he dumped me. And it was a nasty breakup. I'm not going to lie. And I was, I wanted to go live. And he never had an answer. It was just, because if he couldn't even do it himself, he had his best friend and one of my closest friends do it for him. And, it, and then afterwards, I was like, is there a possibility of there ever being a new meeting? He goes, he says, yes, yeah, very low. And then we would talk about everything. And then the live came. While we were talking, it, he was, he lied to me so much. He had hurt me so much in so many ways. And, I'm not gonna lie, it was, it was really hard for me, because this was my first love, my first husband. So let me take this on. But, this guy, he, he always made me laugh. He was there for me when I was in my darkest moments. He was all I had ever wanted, and then, and he brought in my life. And, like, he told me, he said, I wasn't in love with you. And then, he was playing, he was talking to me, he was, I fell in love with you too, in a way. And I'm like, why don't, then why don't you just, Get back with me then. He said because I'm scared people would think badly from me if I was with you again. And that made me feel like a bad person. Because yes, I have had bad times. Yes, I have had um, my bad moments, my bad weeks, my bad moments. But like, he was there to have to see them. And then we met up at the parking lot. And he was hugging me and everything. He was hugging me and saying, I'm sorry, I didn't want to hurt you, I never meant to, I'm a jerk, I'm a douchebag. And I'm, I'm sitting there trying not to cry. I'm just, but charm is worth it. Well, I do have a girlfriend now. I'm not hopeful. Please don't hate. Please don't hate. But yeah. And um, she knows that, I, like, I still cry, and she knows that. But I'm happy that I am with her. But with him, at the end of the day, I had to sit down and think, what has he done for me? Yes, he has helped me. He has made me smile. He's made me laugh. He is, he, he's gave me a lot of memories. But then there's all the bad. He has made me think so badly in my life. He has made me cry to the point where I have threw up. He has lied to me so much. He has played with my heart. And... Is, then I started thinking, like, he never replies. Is he gonna be there for me at the end of the day when I have no one else? No. If he cared, he would have. He would message you. He would be the one to ask you, "How are you doing? Are you okay? Don't lie to me. Don't." He'd be the one to sit there and be there. For you. And now that he's getting over his part, what I had to do is I had to delete all the pictures. Like, I didn't delete the pictures for like two weeks after the breakup. I had to delete the pictures. I had to block him on everything. I had to block his friends so I wouldn't see him in their Snapchat stories. I had to block his friends on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Because one of his friends decided to do fun ideas to mess with my feelings and send me Snapchat with him all the time. And I'm like, I, I've had enough of it. 
Well, even just a few days ago, I was on the phone with him. And, um, things got really bad. I mean, turned into screaming now. And crying, both of us. And... And... Things were said. And I finally told him, I said, I'm done being with you. When the only reason you want me... The only reason why you still talk to me anymore is because I'm the girl that you know that you're being chased by. I said, I'm done chasing you. I'm done giving this my all and you giving it nothing and laughing in my face. So, I have all this stuff in a box and I, in my closet, and I do really... I was in a family. Like, that was my breaking point. Because he's that one person who told me that we were best friends to we dating. And then now he's not even in my life at all. It, it, it will hurt. And you will cry and you will think that. You will think that there's nothing worse that he was the one. But now, looking back, he's the one person that has changed my life. Like, I now know that, not, not to get, I don't know what it is, like, not to get my hopes up, I guess, but he has taught me that he's been a huge lesson, and as much as much time and as much effort as I put into this guy, now that I look at it, it wasn't worth it. It really wasn't. So, if you want to break up, I'm here. Um, I'm here to you, so I will try to help you, my boy, the best that I can. Just, you have to think, what has this person done for me? How is this person hurt me? And is this person gonna be here for me for the day? I told her, I said, I'm done chasing you. I'm done putting everything into this while you put nothing into it. And, like, we decided it was bad at that point. But, I was just a deal help. And, you should give me suggestions um, for what my next video should be on. So, yeah. But subscribe, please. You probably have a year to do better. This is just something I wanted to do. Kind of share that story. But yeah. So just want you to know that you will find someone and that if you're young and you're watching this, that you will find someone. You will go through so many heartbreaks. While you're young, so when they they will all pay off because you they're leading you to your place. They're leading you to find the person person who is your best friend you ever have. Everything. So yeah. So stay strong, deep.